You want Google reviews, I want them. They're incredible for SEO. This is how you use Klaviyo to automate the process of getting Google reviews for your store. Now this can work for an e-commerce store, it can work for a B2B store, it works, and it also, as you're gonna see, can make you some money as well. For those who don't know, my name's Gavin, I'm the founder of Inbox. We are an email and SMS marketing agency, but enough about me, let's get into the video. Okay, step number one, you're gonna to wanna to go over to Google and type in Google My Business. Once you type that in, it should come up with something like this. You're gonna go ahead and click this button here. And then from there, it's gonna take you to a Manage Now. Now, if you haven't already set up your Google business, go ahead and do that. But once you click this, if you have already set it up, it should take you directly to this page here. So it's pretty much still Google, but as you can see, it gives you a bunch of options to essentially manage all your Google reviews. So as you can see here, we have all these buttons here. All you have to do is click Ask for Reviews click that button, copy that link right there, and then take that link and just have it copied essentially. Then what you're gonna wanna do is go into Klaviyo and then create a flow. I call this flow IB, because inbox, that's the name of my agency, dash dash Google review. And in this review, you're gonna see that we have a fulfilled order being the metric. So the metric is fulfilled order. So then what you're going to do is you're going to see this flow and it's triggered off of the fulfilled order. So that means somebody has had their order fulfilled in your backend. So either Shopify or WooCommerce has registered as, a, as being fulfilled and that triggers the flow. Now what you see here is a flow getting triggered off of the fulfilled order and we have a conditional split, right? So on the yes side of the flow, if they fulfilled an order equaling four times over all time, right? it sends them down the yes path, which sends them an email asking them for a Google review. Now, the reason I have it set to four times overall time is because that tells me the customer is very loyal. They like our product because they're repeat purchasing it, right? Also, meaning we are more than likely to get a good review, especially if the person really keeps reordering, we know they like it, right? So this just ensures that that happens. Also, it prevents people from getting the same email every time they purchase. So this email will only go to people in this client's case when it goes to them when they've placed four orders overall time. Now we also have a seven day delay. We should potentially have a time delay here, but for this case, we just send it exactly at the same time they ordered. Feel free to delay it into a specific time of day. The reason we have a seven day delay is because that in this case is enough time for the customer to have used the product and had an experience with which they could write about. So seven days gives us enough time. Now, after that seven day delay, we have an email. As you can see, these emails are getting good open rates, good click rates, awesome place order rates, not even designed to actually get an order, but they just do an awesome total revenue. amount. Now in this email, as you can see here, I've blurred it out so you can't see anything, but this is a plain text email. It's written in a way that seems like it's coming from the founder, right? So in this case, uh, it would be coming from Gavin, that's my name, saying, hi there, thank you so much for your continued support of my business. I really, really appreciate it, it means a lot. I was wondering if I could ask you a small favor. And in that email, you include a link, that link that we copied from here into that email and we say, hey, can you please leave us a Google review? We'd really appreciate it. And it's just a plain text email because plain text seem a lot more personal, they seem a lot more authentic, and what you're actually gonna find as a business owner is that a lot of the times you're gonna get responses to these emails. I've seen it a lot with my clients when they have plain text emails. A lot of the times the readers respond. They say stuff like, hey, thank you so much, this is fantastic. Love your business. Keep doing what you're doing. I've left you a good review. And this is the way that you can automate the process of getting Google reviews using Klaviyo to your business. Now, keep in mind, you just want to be mindful of not really triggering any spam stuff, and you can't ask for a five-star review. You cannot encourage a positive review. It has to be an authentic review. So don't say, in exchange for a five-star review, we'll give you a 20% discount. Don't even say that. Just say, could you give us a review? And you'll essentially be increasing the SEO of your store because you're getting awesome Google reviews, which is then going to get you more clients, which then will allow you to get more customers more purchases, more order uh, review requests, and more reviews, and the cycle just keeps going. 
So I know there's no integration out there directly to integrate Google with Klaviyo, but this is how I've been working around it for my clients. I hope you found that video useful. Any questions, just let me know. I'm here, I'm looking at your comments. Give me all the love, give me all the hate. I'm totally here for it. And once again, subscribe to the channel. I put a new video out pretty much every single week, a bunch of shorts as well with tips and tricks. You're gonna love it. If you're doing any sort of email marketing, this is the channel for you.